but I made sure to read the important topics and all the tables of Fishman from first chapter to the last chapter. So that was my basic uh, thing. After my MD, I tried to watch uh, all the videos, but I could not. I almost completed 80% videos. But what I made sure of was to give maximum grant test. One book should be done from top to bottom and the other books tables can be read. And after that, to top on it, speed is really good, especially the short videos which there. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Karan Kalra yes. for scoring topmost rank of CML5, AML8 in the speciality, super speciality of DM pulmonary medicine. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thanks a lot, sir. Doctor, can we know your brief background from where you started till date? Uh, sir, I did my UG from KMC Manipal. Uh, after that, this uh, just after passing, I joined MD in respiratory medicine at PGI Rotak and uh, passed in 2023 July only. Uh, this was my uh, second attempt. I gave my first attempt in the May session. Uh, so just to get a uh, hang on how is the paper, what do they ask? So that time I was like. I had 39, so I got, didn't qualify by one mark. So, and I was not prepared by that time. So I knew that this is okay. This can be done. So I gave my second shot in the November and yes. Uh, so I got this rank, uh, in NEAT, I got a rank of 36. Very good. Now, can you share some of your preparation strategy? How did you prepare? Uh, basically, sir, uh, Till like our batch had a 20 months uh, first year. So it was really hectic. So by the end of second year and probably the third year, I started to read my basic books. So I didn't get a lot of time to prepare per se, but I stick to reading More and Nadal because it was the latest book at that point of time. And then eventually in the middle of my third year, New Fishman was launched. So I, yes. So I could not read it fully, but I made sure to read the important topics and all the tables of Fishman from first chapter to the last chapter. So that was my basic uh, thing. After my MD, I tried to watch uh, all the videos, but I could not. I almost completed 80% videos, but what I made sure of was to give maximum grant tests. Uh, Especially all like even previous years grant tests, I, I gave almost every second day, third day, even in the night. And sometimes I used to get 20, 30 questions. I used to do it at a module, not always having some time to spend two, three hours on a test and two hours in a like uh, re reviewing what was wrong and all. So I used to do it in a mock test manner also. But I made sure that I do maximum questions and actually that helped a lot. The main thing I felt was speeds grant test helped me a lot in NEAT also and in INI also. Uh, in NEAT actually almost five to eight questions were in me like ditto of speed uh, like almost similar. Uh, so that was when we get a, in 150 questions if five to eight questions we are getting similar so that gives a boost while giving the test okay I know this okay I know this. I have read this, I have done this question because uh, while giving the paper, the morale is very important at the last day. So that was really helpful for me. Coming to the INI part, actually this time's paper was a little tricky. If you see in pulmonary medicine, 22 seats were there and only 14 people qualified. And having a word with all of my friends, I even I knew ki if someone is qualifying this paper, he'll get into AIMS for sure because it was that tough. I clearly remember 35 questions were there from general medicine, uh, which is slightly more coming from a pure Palmo background during MD. It's our general medicine is slightly on a weaker side. So that is always like if we are preparing for INI, we have to take in mind that we have to prepare general medicine uh, like separately and properly because almost 50% paper is from medicine. Even in the Palmo part, a uh, lot of things are related to medicinal part. So like uh, there was a question of malaria and its complication in uh, this pulmonology. So they were asking indirectly malaria treatment only. So uh, it's not just about Palmo in INA, it's more about medicine also. Uh, 
So, medicine uh, related to pulmonology or separate ma- medicine questions? Uh, sir, 35 questions were general medicine in which we had hematology also, nephrology also, cardiology also, oh. endocrine also. And rest, all the questions which were so-called uh, isolated pulmonary also had questions based on medis- general medicine part. And three, four questions were there of biostats, which were uh, like doable. Like I uh, did the grand test of a biostats in the end. So that helped a lot. Very good, doctor. Very, very brief uh, discussion on this. How yeah. many questions did you attend, doctor? 79. <laughs> very nice. Great. Yeah. Now, uh, what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of DM pulmonology? Sir, I feel that firstly, uh, one standard book should be read. Anything that may be Murray or Fishman. I Because a lot of people say only Fishman, a lot of people say no Murray. Anything is good. Just one book should be done from top to bottom. And the other books, tables can be read. And after that, to top on it, speed is really good. Especially the short videos which there. Like sometimes what I used to do was watch a speed video. And then jump on to reading book because then reading book becomes very easy so that you know where to focus, what latest guideline is in this. So that becomes very helpful. So uh, like using speed uh, in that way, I felt uh, gave me a will to read more. So and especially next after once the MD part is done, then giving questions is the only thing that can help us uh, i feel and especially adding on stuff from the grand test to your notes okay this is important then maybe go to up to date and read that up yeah so that's about it i guess very very nice doctor now time to thank whom all you want to thank you can take this opportunity this platform you can thank whom i helped you till date Mm, firstly i would like to thank god uh secondly my parents uh then my wife dr parul then my seniors uh Dr. Vishal, Dr. Abhishek Tandon, then my very close friends, uh, Dr. Ayush, Dr. Rohit, Dr. Astha, uh, then Dr. Sushant, they all helped me and motivated me. And even when in the dark times, when I was very stressed that, okay, in these times, DM is almost essential and I have to do it. They boosted me with confidence that you will do very easily. So that gave me some kind of light in the dark times that okay i have to just do it and even if i don't think so i can do it if well wishes think i can put in more effort perfect once again wishing you all the very best and all the success for a great career in dm pulmonary medicine and wish you all the best and your passion towards this subject definitely will be a contribution great contribution to the specialty itself and definitely the people coming for those services from you will be surely greatly benefited. Best wishes once again, Doctor. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you.